maybe one last question, um, which goes a little bit into a different direction, because the both of us are also fascinated about virtual work, about the modern world. And on the other side, we know that belongingness is so important important to, to people. So uh, in this time of, of transition of digital transformation where people are more and more separated in space and in time, um, how do we create a feeling of belongingness in that world? I mean, I, I have the feeling we can create it right now, but do you have some general thoughts on that? Uh, so I think one of the things is that we ha have this amazing ability to do what we're doing at the moment. We can talk to people on the other side of the world. We can even conference call with five different people from five different parts of the world. Uh, and we can make our opinions known. We can learn from other people. We can access education. We can do all sorts of things. And so we've got this hyper connectivity, which is fantastic. But then day to day, we often feel isolated and that we don't belong in our own communities and I hear people say things like um, they, they lament the loss of the of the local shopping center for example um, uh, but they do all their shopping online and so it's 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 about really understanding what we want and how we want to connect with people um, without being disappointed when that doesn't happen because we've we've made this choice all the way along this nudging choice we can uh, do our shopping online and then we don't have to actually go and pay for parking and do all that kind of thing um, but the result of that behavior means that we actually become disconnected with Uh, with the community because we're not out in the community and we're not participating as much as um, we would otherwise want to. Uh, so it's so it's interesting. We we seem to be better at, at communicating online than we do um, face to face. I mean, I actually remember getting my first mobile phone, and uh, I can't remember when it was. I wasn't an early adopter for the mobile phones, um, but. Uh, one of my friends said something about sending a text message and I went, why would I want to do that? Like I'll just, that takes ages to type a text message out. I can just phone the person and ask. And she said, Oh yeah, but then you'd have to actually talk to them, you know, and this is just like one question you have. And that means that you don't need to talk. And um, yeah, and now yeah. I probably message far more than I talk. So, and the next and the next stage is now, of course, uh, leaving voice messages on WhatsApp, which yes. um, are also sometimes can be a nuisance because you receive one, you need to listen to it, and sometimes people just talk and talk and talk, and uh, it's nothing yes. important in it. So yeah, right. Yes, Sarah, um, I'm very excited because the first Australasian change days are coming up. When are they? What are they about? And where can we find more information? Uh, okay, so they are in Perth, which is a great city for anyone who wants to visit. And um, it's on September the 11th to the 13th, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, the theme is connectedness, which will hopefully tie in very well with the theme of the Berlin and Toronto um, change days, which is about building bridges. So uh, connections all over the place. And um, we're really looking at how we can bring together change makers and people who are working on the front line of change uh, together to explore how we can all work together better and, um, and hopefully leave with um, a, great, a great network and some great ideas and um, a really positive feel of around change in Perth. Fantastic. I will be there. Where can people find more Perfect. information? Well, we have a uh, website called australasianchangedays.com and you'll find the link from the Berlin and the Toronto websites also if you can't spell Australasian because it can get a bit tricky. There's lots of A's in there. Um, but we called it Australasian because we really want to encourage everybody um, in Australia and Asia to come along. And uh, Perth is actually in the time zone of 60% of the world's population. So uh, we've got a lot of people north of us uh, that we would love to invite down to Perth in September. Fantastic. See you all there.